What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're starting on episode 2 of our Let's Play. So I did a little bit of work off camera. I got a couple more chickens in there. Um, I used the eggs and I started a little bit of a wheat farm right here. Got some cows and some sheep in there. Going to be needing those sheep pretty soon here. And then I collected my sugar cane, made the farm a little bit bigger. Did a little bit of uh, mining, not too much. Got a little bit of uh, sugar cane here, a little bit of wheat here. Had some iron. Oh yeah, I also finished getting full of iron, which is pretty good. I smelted up a little more charcoal. Nothing too crazy. Um, what I want to do is start off the video by talking about little some plans I have for this world and basically some of the resources we're going to need to get a lot of pretty soon. Alright, so the plan is I want to build a giant like castle kingdom type thing in this area. Like this whole flat area, I want to flatten it out and build a giant castle. And I'm thinking I want my block palette to be like darker colors like um, red and black. So like some uh, red nether brick and like some black concrete powder and you know black stained glass and all that kind of stuff. Maybe some red wool, I don't know. But like it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big area. I think we could do quite a lot with this and maybe... Maybe up uh, somewhere. I don't know if we'll flatten this hill out. Maybe somewhere. Maybe this hill will have like a staircase coming up in the middle. Like right over here somewhere. And then we could build some more stuff up here. Because we got quite a lot of room up here too. Get rid of that stupid grass. We got quite a lot of room up here. And down here. To make quite the kingdom. Then maybe we'll add some farms in there. I actually didn't see that. There's like, is that like a ravine? Is that a ravine? So basically today we're not going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff. Mainly just doing a little bit of exploring around the area. Maybe do some caving and mining. There's another cave. There's actually some iron right there. But I want to check out this. <laughs> I was just looking over here and I saw this. Oh, I thought it was going to be a ravine. It's just another cave. Check around real quick because I don't really want to get knocked down there. It's pretty deep. It looks like it might still go. I can't tell if it's going to go keep going, but. One thing I want to do, though, is start getting some more iron. Because I want to get ready to build an iron farm soon. Because I got some, some builds I want to do pretty soon. I'm going to need some iron for them. There's some mobs. <laughs> I don't have any sticks or anything, so I can't really make any more torches, but... I think I'm gonna go get some more sticks and stuff, because that looks like a pretty big area. Like, I got some coal I can mine here to make some torches, but I don't have really any sticks to make more torches, so... I'm gonna have to go get some more sticks. There's so many caves and stuff around here. I don't know if this is an actual... Yeah, there's like a little cave there. There's a song... There's a zombie, and then there's a skeleton shooting at me. There's another cave over there. Just like some caves and stuff around the area, which is pretty good. And another thing I might want to do, too, with that staircase going up, is there's like a snow place. So I might want to build like a snow cabin or like a little cabin, you know, for the snow. I think that could be pretty cool. My axe is about to break, which is going to suck. It's going to break any second now. Got two durability left on it, so there it goes. That's fine, we can make more. I could make an iron one too. Right now I'm not too worried about like getting diamonds and stuff. Um, obviously we should get some soon, but I'm not too worried about getting them right now. Wow. <laughs> Made a little bit too many sticks, but that's fine. You can never have too many sticks, to be honest. Is that another cave thing? It's like a covered ravine. What the heck? <laughs> so much cool stuff around this area, but... Oh well, I'm not worried about that stuff. Let's go mining or something. Alright, we're back. Sorry, um... My mic, I think, was a little turned up a little too high. 
one thing I'm gonna need is a zombie for that. For what I want to do for my iron farm. I'm just gonna build like a basic one. And then it'll produce this iron while we're building around. But let's get a little bit more of this so we can get a little bit more torch action. Let's put our cobblestone right there. We got this ready. We got our armor. Got a little bit of food. Can't stay out too long because I don't have a ton of food. I don't want to go down there right now. I want to die. I think this might also lead to that area. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and just... Torch is kind of a waste, but let's go ahead and light some of that up. Yep, there's a creeper right there. Fine if he blows up, to be honest. That'll make it actually a little bit easier because I don't have to worry about him blowing me up. We still need to be pretty careful of creepers and such. This just keeps going down. What level is this at? 48? Grab some of this, grab this iron over here. That's it, two pieces. Really just gonna, you're gonna do me with two pieces. There's some more iron right there. Check to make sure there's no creepers or skeletons coming up yet. Oh yeah, that goes down pretty far though. And there's some more iron over there too. It's quite a bit of iron in this uh, cave. Okay, keeps going down right there as well. I do want to keep an eye out above me though. To actually just go ahead and light this little spot up so I can mostly peacefully collect this iron. Really don't want to die again. We already died to the stupid stuff. I still want to keep an eye out. Actually, I should just go up here real quick. Oh, there's a dungeon right here. What kind of spot? There's just There's no chest in here, but... That could be our first XP farm. I think we just found our first XP farm. Stupid zombies, go away. But yeah, I think we just found our first XP farm. Let's go ahead and grab the coordinates of that. Because I don't want to grab that right now. But maybe later on in this episode, we could set up a little simple XP farm. That could be cool. I don't want to sit here in mine for too long because I know that gets boring. Just watching the same thing over and over again. But I do, I do think it might be cool to, you know, do a little bit more. I need some more torches again. Should have grabbed some more of that coal. Oh well. Hopefully we'll find some more. If not, I'll just have to run back real quick. I can't see anything down there. All right, I'm going to run back real quick and get some more torches, and then we'll come back. All right, we're coming back to the area. I got a, got a few torches. Still a bunch of mobs, because there's like a little cave to the other side, which I think goes below me. But let's continue exploring this way. And just leads to a dead end. There's so many places to light up in here, though. So many caves and stuff. So many little, um, little side caves and stuff to light up. But I can't believe it. Like, there's no chest, but there's a little XP farm. So there's, like, something up there, which it's only a, is that it? It's a two-block gap, so I want to be careful with that. What are we at right now? Still, we're still too high, way too high up in the world for diamonds. I haven't really seen a lot of stuff besides coal. Like, I've seen a little bit of coal, but no, like, not even a lot of iron either. This should be enough iron with the other iron I have, though. If I want to make an iron farm to make the hoppers I need, but I'll need, like, uh, 
Probably, actually, I think I can use campfires to kill the iron golems. I'm not sure. I normally just use magma blocks. But I might be able to use campfires. Once we get an iron farm up, up and running and working and stuff, it's not going to be too bad. But the other thing we need for an iron farm is we need to find a village, but... So we can get some villagers over to where we're going to build the iron farm in this area and probably end up moving the iron farm later on. Because I'm probably just going to put it like right in the middle of the kingdom area. Just to get some resources flowing in while I'm in the area. But then later on we'll move it like underground or something. Because they're not that good looking. Kind of ugly to be honest. So I don't really want to have it in the middle of my kingdom. Just ruining everything. But I'm going to do a little bit more mining down this cave, exploring. And if I find anything cool, I'll come back. If not, I'll meet you guys at the surface. Alright, guys. So I've decided we're going to make that zombie farm. Or we're going to turn that, find that dungeon and make it into a zombie farm. I did collect a bunch of stone, smelted it down for stone bricks. Got a lot of food. So let's see, I gathered a little bit more sugar cane. Um, started gathering some wool. And I gathered a bunch of food. Ended up with a pretty good amount of iron. I did make a couple pickaxes for that stuff. But I'm just smelting down some glass right now. Um, let's actually just split this off. I guess he's only got three. But split this off. So we can get some more glass. So we can go build. That's um. Go build a little. A little starter farm. And I hear an enderman. I don't know where he is. But I hear an enderman somewhere. Stupid chickens being annoying. Oh, I also went on a little adventure to try to find some kelp for the farm. I couldn't find any. Um, I went, like, off in that direction. But I found a giant jungle. Got a little bit of lily pads. I don't know why you can't... Did I forget a lily pad? I think I forgot. Yeah, I think I forgot. I just forgot a lily pad right there, I believe. But I did put a couple of lily pads down. And then I did find some pumpkins as well. So I planted some of those. Those will come in handy f later on for trading with uh, villagers. I breed, I've been breeding up a little bit. I did get a little more leather. Um, not a ton. Where is it though? Oh, I didn't even put it in the right chest. Where did I put my leather? Right there, 16. So now I have 18 leather, which is pretty good. Just, it's pretty good. Um, I'm debating, guys, on whether I want to do white stained glass because in front of the spawner i want to be able to see like into the room so i'm debating on white stained glass or black stained glass now black stained glass shouldn't be too hard to get because you got a little river right here that normally has squid <laughs> there's normally a bunch of squid right here um that we could use but i'm not sure whether i want to use black stained glass or white stained glass yet i guess i could make a little bit of both like, just make a tiny piece of both and see which one looks better um, with the stone bricks and stuff. Like, the stone bricks are going to be like the walls and stuff. And then I'm going to have the zombies go out of the farm. They're going to go up, over, drop down right in that room that I'm going to build right next to the spawner. So that way I can just get... Um, that way I can just have them right there so I can see the spawner and I'll be in that same room and I can just have them go up out of the farm over and then fall down and pop up right next to me. The reason I want to do that is because the reason I don't just want to bring them over to the farm, one, they'll still be in the farm technically so the spawner won't spawn any more guys and I want to get them down to a one hit so I could just like punch them with my fist and get the... um. I could just punch them with my fist and get the kill to get the XP. Now it's off in that direction somewhere. Um, so I'm going to go get the rest of my resources together. And we're going to go build this thing. I need more fuel. I'm almost out of fuel. But yeah, let me get those resources together and then we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and build this thing. Alright boys, we're in the area. I mean, obviously. <laughs> spawners right there so we're gonna have to start digging out this area do make sure i keep this place lit right now 
So we need to go out uh, four blocks from the spawner on each direction and then build a wall. So, and then we'll have to dig down two as well. So it's, it's going to be a little bit of a process to dig this out and get this ready, but it's just going to be like, it's going to be worth it. We're going to get a little bit of XP. It's not going to be a lot of XP, but it'll be better than no XP. And that way when we get to the spot where we can enchant, hopefully we'll be able to enchant a couple things. Hopefully get some good enchantments at the beginning. But I'm going to dig that area out and then uh, build up the walls that we need as well. And then we'll come on back and get started with the rest of the farm. Alright guys, so I got the area you know, set up a little bit. Got the glass in place. Got the little room in place. So that's where they're all going to be spawning in at. Now we got to dig down a couple blocks. Now I didn't do the ceiling yet. Um, and I haven't... Obviously this area out here... It's going to need to be decorated quite a lot. But we're going to wait and do that in another video or something. Because we still got a lot of work to do in this area. But now the part is... Oh yeah, and my, um, my iron pickaxe broke. So... I'm using stone because I didn't want to go all the way back and get some. But now I got to dig down this area two blocks down. Um, also, real quick, got to do that so they don't spawn on top of the spawner because we're going to be putting water in here and I don't want them to spawn on top of the spawner because then they're not going to fall down or it's going to take longer to fall down. Just going to mess with the rates a little bit so now what I'm gonna do is I need to dig this down two more blocks and then clean up the walls obviously with the stone brick and then we can start with the the area where we're gonna drop them down out of the farm bring them across up and down to where we can kill them with one hit all right guys so we got a little more work done got this water in and I started bringing this over this way and I did mark out how much or what height I need to bring them to and the block I need to bring them to. So I'm going to have them drop down right over here. Let me show you. Should have just stayed over here. But I'm going to have them come down right here. So this is going to be where they're going to fall down. They're going to fall down pretty far. And then they're going to land on a hopper. That's going to go into a ch chest right here. So they're just going to land on that hopper and then be good to go. And I decided to, to make some cracked stone bricks um, to decorate the area. So I'm probably going to sprinkle those into here as well just to make it look a little bit better. I don't have a ton of cracked stone bricks, but I can go make some more if I need to. But this is where they're going to fall down. They should be on one hit. I should just be able to punch them and then we'll be good to go. And I already marked out the coordinates for that. The height that I need to bring them up to, I need to bring them up to level 72 and then bring them across to there. So we got quite a bit. Um, I actually, I can make some, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make enough. Need to make some ladders. I think that'll be the easiest way for me to get up there. Um, but I definitely don't have enough, so I'm gonna have to go get some more wood and make a whole bunch of ladders, so that way I can, uh, get up there, build this thing, make the water elevator. I still need to find... It's gonna be a long process, because I have to put bucket each one, because I don't have kelp, and I cannot find kelp. So I'm gonna have to take each bucket <laughs> up there to get the water elevator going. Eventually, too, we'll go in the nether and get soul sand to boost the elevator, but hopefully... We can get them to where we need to, get them over, and then we'll get them done. So I'm going to go ahead and get some ladders. Go ahead and dig up over, find the drop shoot area, get this all set up, the killing chamber and stuff. And then we'll come back and finish decorating up, or not finish, but we'll decorate up this area a little bit because it looks horrible. This doesn't look too bad. I'm going to add some cracked stone bricks probably eventually. But I need to decorate this room where we're going to be killing them at and get that all ready to rock and roll all right boys so i'm digging up and i found another spawner i don't know what it is but there's a dungeon right here and there's another spawner it sounds like it might be a spider 
but I can't be sure. So we're going to have to run in there and disable this to see what this is. We might be able to set up a double spawner. I need to get rid of this stupid torch. I used it to light up, but now it's in the way. Yeah, it's a spider spawner. And this one actually has chests. Which will be perfect for what I need, because I end up needing a lot of dispensers and stuff. So I need string. If I don't die in this corner. Oh, this is just going to make it even more annoying, though, because now I have to set up. T now I'm going to want to set up two spawners, and I might be able to. Dude, they're so close. I should be able to activate both of them at once, but. But, I mean, come on. Really? <laughs> I'm digging. Oh, music disc cat. I'm just, I'm digging up to make my spawner, and now I got another one. Oh, we're going to have to connect this up. I'm definitely going to have to set this up somehow. I don't know how we're going to connect it up, because the zombies are going to come up. Uh, 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 I might have to move the zombies so they come up over here, and then go that way into the farm, and then go across and over. Or go, uh, yeah, across and then up again. Because we're at 65, we need to get to 72. So we're almost at the right level. But with this added in there, that could help. Problem is, is that... Or what I... Uh, no, I can't do that because it's going to be too much digging. I was saying I could just dig down to that area and connect them. But I might just have to move my zombies over like a few blocks like six or seven blocks that way so they'll come up like right here and then I can shoot them over and then the water stream can go this way and then carry them up again with the spiders which means I'd have to make the shoot a little bit wider because the zombie or the spiders won't fit but we can go ahead and get that done and have a double spawner I'm not going to decorate this one to be honest because the kill chamber is still going to be down here so I'm, I'm not going to decorate it but I have to bring the zombies over a few more blocks. I'm going to have to fix that. But, yeah, I'm not going to decorate the, the spider one. I'm just going to build it up and then get this thing, get these two connected and then, uh, yeah, get them both set up so we can use both of them at the same time. Alright, guys. So I couldn't really get the, the string farm or the spider farm and the zombie farm to work properly. This is this. The spiders would not go where they needed to go. They kept climbing up walls and getting stuck. So I just set up the spider spawner like this. This is the more important one anyways. Um, because this will get me... I'll have to adjust it a little bit. So they don't keep jumping up, but... This will give me the string and the spider eyes that I need. Which, for me... For me, the zombies don't really drop anything good. I need to do some adjustments because they keep climbing up the side of the wall still. So I'm not sure how to fix that to exactly, but... Like, there's a whole bunch of them right here, but they just keep climbing up the side of the wall. So I'm going to have to figure out... Um, I don't know exactly how to fix that. I really need to break this water. It's getting in the way. Yeah, they originally were going that way, but... They just kept climbing up walls, and at the very- I got some- I finally got them to go to the very end, but then they were just sitting at the end, so I- I don't quite know, but I need to figure something out so they don't keep climbing. I think I got a plan with some slabs, um, but I need to clear these guys out first. I might have to make a daring attempt and just go light the area up. Because, yeah, this this will be really good to get string and stuff. Especially once I get looting. Especially once I can get looting. But the problem is, I need to get this place lit lit up so they can stop spawning. There's so many of them. Like, look at... It's just insane rates. And I'm going to have to use um, an axe, I guess. But it's just insane rates. There's just so many of them spawning in. So 
This could be really good for us, especially because eventually we're going to need a lot of dispensers. So having this farm is going to be a really good idea. Okay, I'm going to have to do it. Keep my axe just in case, but I'm going to have to run. I need to get this place lit up. For now. I think I have a plan that might work. Hopefully it'll work. I'm not quite sure. I just need to get these last couple out of here. Um, so if I just chuck some full blocks. I might have to make some more slabs. I chuck no I want that block there or there can you just put the block where I want it thank you and if I pop some slabs hopefully they won't climb up hopefully they'll fall down before they start trying to climb up I don't have enough to make more slabs I might just have to use cobblestone for now if I can find my crafting table, which might have actually despawned. I think it fell down here and might have actually despawned. Which is not the best, unless I'm just blind, but I'm not seeing it. But hopefully those slabs will help. I'm going to test it out right now, see if some of those slabs helped. Um, I actually don't know... I can even get up there now. I have to just break this slab. I'm going to set this up so I can turn it on and off with redstone eventually. But right now. Now oh, there's still a torch somewhere. I'd actually, I wonder if that light's coming from there. Just seems so bright over here. Yep, there's a torch right there in the corner. Dude, there's so many of them. I actually didn't think this through very well. Just gonna have to go ham on these guys. So I can get back in my spot. So I'm thinking that'll work. I might have to put one more slab in there. So maybe just a full block would work. Instead of slabs. The annoying part is that stupid water. <laughs> so maybe instead of slabs I just need a... Or at least on the ends... Dude, I need my crafting table. I don't know where my crafting table went. So like, on these... I need to get in there, but... I'm gonna try to get in there without dying. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that seems to work a little bit better. There's a whole bunch of them, like, right here. For some reason, they, like, seem to mostly come into this corner. Oh, so I might have to do all full blocks then. I think I'm going to have to do all full blocks, because they're just, like, sitting in that spot where the half block is. Uh, I really wish I had a crafting table. Now the... I don't know. Really wish I had a crafting table right now. I wonder if it's out here. It might actually be over here. Over by my original spot. Just gonna grab a water bucket because I don't want to risk dying. And the only problem is I don't have another pickaxe right now. <laughs> Either so.
my water should be dying. But I'm gonna have to like break my way out of here. Because since I don't have a. I don't think there's really. Oh, I can just swim out. Awesome. And my crafting table is right here, so I can make. Pickaxe. I'll just do some slabs, because then I can just finish it off with slabs. Just like so. I actually should have left that water there. Oh well. I got plenty of blocks I can just build my way up. And then we'll figure out something if we even want to use the the zombie spawner. Might not even end up using it to be honest. And then maybe I'll just have that become a water elevator. Or turn it into a hallway or something so I can get over to the spider farm easier. I don't know though. I'll figure it out. I should have made a sword but... Yeah, I definitely should have made a sword. Dude, that is so annoying when the water just does that. So yeah, I'm going to have to turn all those to full blocks. I'm going to do that and then see if that works. Alright guys, so I got it sort of working. We'll do some more work off camera. There's actually, in that top corner over there, you can't see them, but there's a whole bunch in there. And these guys end up bobbing up and down, but eventually most of them end up coming down. We'll do more work on it later, but I've gotten over a stack of string so far and about 30 spider eyes. Imagine once I get looting, how many spider eyes and such I can get. This is quite a few dispensers I can make, which will be quite nice. And then we'll decorate this area another day. I don't know if it'll be in the next episode, but we'll decorate this area another day. And then, yeah, go from there. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace!